Virgo. Gender doesn't matter. Timing is fluid. Energies can be reversed. And if you'd like a personal reading information, link down below. We are modeling with Batty Doll today, all right? The code for that is at the beginning of this video as well as linked down below. They like the first two videos, so we got a personal code. Thank you so much, Betty Girl. The shipping was amazing. The service was phenomenal. And the clothes are bomb. All right, so let's get into it for Virgo. Go ahead and check out um, BattyGirl.com and use my code. All right, if you want a 30% off discount. So let's get into it. This is for Virgo. Of course, um, check your Mercury placements where you may have Virgo on your chart or the person you're connecting to may have Virgo on their chart, all right? You do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Virgo, what's coming up for Virgo and the energy that's going to be coming for Virgo? All right. Coins, money will be coming to you, okay? That's what's going to be coming up for you. Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. All right? So, someone is older in this situation. You could be the one that's older. You're dealing with someone who's older. You may have a relationship or you're dealing with an older woman. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, or an Ophetius. Uh, something is rising this makes me feel like saying something's rising it could be new ideas you may feel like you're also having a new beginning of self almost like you've been cleansed that's what the feeling you're going to be feeling virgo um you're going to be feeling cleansed okay you're shining very bright like the sun you're enjoying the now the present and focusing on yourself all right um the sun represents the soul s-o-l so I feel like you're really uh, focusing on you, your endeavors, your ideas, and this new beginning for yourself. And bird flying, news is on the way. So you could be getting news from an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or um, communication. Okay, some type of news is on the way to you, Virgo. Okay. Uh, what do you got for Virgo? Tulip, great passion. Okay, could be a passionate message. Okay. Happiness. I feel like you're going to be very happy. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. So I do feel like financially things are going to go in your favor. You know what I'm actually getting from this? Um money is just an energy just a vibration all right it has as much energy as you decide to give it so if you've given from a place of kindness gratitude and uh, empathy then this is you know the the universe rewarding you for giving out such positivity and not giving because you expected something back but giving because you're a kind person not because you had any hidden agenda or hidden intentions, but because you're just a genuinely kind person. Okay. Firecracker, excitement. Okay. And lightning, control your anger. You will be sorry. All right. So, you may find out something very upsetting soon. What deck do I feel like using, you guys? All right. I'm going to use this deck let me use this deck okay all right you could be dealing with a cancer Pisces, scorpio aries sagittarius or a leo or they have virgo and any of those planets okay like the sun the moon um neptune jupiter Mars, Pluto, that's how I'm saying you can cross watch, okay? Or see how it resonates for you, okay? That's usually how you can figure out timing as well. Because the moon is constantly shifting. Right now, the moon is in Sagittarius as of this morning, okay? Breathe. Just breathe. Almost called you Scorpio. Just breathe. 
Just breathe. Woo. Breathe. I'm getting a chill on my left leg. Some of you are going to be feeling emotion. Like maybe you're feeling a lot more emotionally balanced. You're trying to embrace emotion, okay? On this new journey, this new beginning for yourself. Even if you're just doing it alone, okay? You're just trying to remain um, emotionally balanced and focus on the energy and vibration of gratitude, appreciation, um, happiness, all right? What you got for Virgo, please? What do you have for Virgo? What's coming up for Virgo in their future? In their future, in their future, Six of Cups. Virgo. Whew. See, I knew I, I wanted to say it. I didn't say it though. I was gonna say it, but I didn't say it. I was gonna say it, I didn't say it though. Because I was like, something isn't right. I knew something wasn't right when I was, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys in a second. I said I wanted to say it, didn't say it. So I was like, I don't think that, yeah, I didn't, yeah. All right. So I was like, I got you. I'll tell you guys in a second what I'm seeing. Yeah, this is um. Tower, third party. There's a third party here. Okay. All right, what do you got for Virgo? Ten of Cups, yeah. Wow. Five of Cups, someone's leaving. Oh yeah, they're leaving. Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, all on the upright. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, all these threes in the Hierophant. Some of you are, there's a marriage here. There's a marriage. What's underneath that Eight of Cups? There's a marriage, there's a marriage. Oh, my nose is itching. There's bad financial news coming in here. I want to see one more thing. Give me that. Ace of Cups. You may have also became newly single or you're with someone who's pregnant. Ooh. Eleven. There was a... Yeah. Oh, this didn't go well, did it? Or this is what's coming up for you. I see a daughter was born, or that's what's coming up. Like a, a, a girl is born. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius child. Very intuitive. Or you're dealing with a younger water sign. The moon. There's been unfaithfulness and fidelity here. Okay. I think that there's someone who's younger than you. also see some of you could be getting a divorce and raising your daughter alone being a single mother because there was unfaithfulness infidelity negative energies um deception and that all comes out um empress and justice in reverse taurus libra taurus virgo capricorn and libra you were with the there was an abusive uh relationship here like an abusive um wife abusive girlfriend it's like you were with someone who could have cheated on you or they stopped investing in the situation they married for the wrong reasons they may have even married for money or they um they didn't love themselves enough or they weren't considered a very good mother this is what's coming up for you um the justice in reverse the blame game no one can put us in a situation we don't want to be in, right? I feel like someone is going to de-invest because they feel like they have not been treated correctly or they know that they got in a relationship for the wrong reasons or they lost a child and they are blaming. So they could uh, be infertile. Someone could actually be infertile, okay? Very codependent. Like, uh, you give me happiness, and that's not the way that the world works. You give yourself happiness. 
there is a lack of sweetness and abundance here. They may get upset the child has needs or they're an absentee mother. That's what's coming up. They could have also been holding on to you saying they don't want to get a divorce or a divorce wasn't finalized or something like that. Or there's a contract here or something like that. Remember, contracts, um, uh, the tangible money, things like that, it cannot keep a relationship alive. That's what's going to be realized here. That, you know, if you really want love, you got to let things go. So this is what I see in the cards that I didn't tell you guys from the beginning. Um, what's crazy is I see the Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, someone's unhealthy. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. You have Libra, Saturn, Libra, Capricorn. Some of you were dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Um, this person was using you for money or they would abuse Empress in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person was abusing the fact that you have children with them. That's what's going to be coming up. Someone's abusing the fact that you have children with them. Could have had a daughter with them. They are financially unstable. They lack, you know, moral and social conscience or even um, a sense of loyalty. They could be unfaithful or wanting out of this commitment and relationship. Healing from a communicable disease. They could be overweight, underweight, just not healthy, just not healthy. You have, um, what's crazy is clarifying her. You have the Ace of Cups. I have before, um, cause I want this to make sure that this is like recorded. Sometimes storage acts all crazy and stuff. Six of Cups, Tower, High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups. Both in the upright, okay? Eight of Wands in reverse, Five of Cups, upright. Just wanna make sure you get this on camera so I don't have to, you know, um, look back and be like, oh my God, it cuts off. Uh, seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. So I will uh, walk you through this, okay? Three of pentacles, three of cups. Okay, cool. So let me get through this with you, okay, Virgo? Or cross watcher, all right. Um, someone's very jealous. They're upset. Um, they may also be trying to get in, like I feel like uh, someone has an angry spouse, angry girlfriend, like someone's very jealous. They could be healing from heart surgery. Okay. But clarifying her Ace of Cups. So if you're the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you may have had a child or there was like a new, there's going to be like, you could be having a child. You could be pregnant. You could um, have gotten proposed to, engaged to her. That's what's coming up for you. You may also have met somebody new, Ace of Cups. You may have... You may be meeting somebody new. That is what's going to make you technically unfaithful. Because I think you're interested in this new person or this new beginning or this new relationship. Okay? Six of Cups, Tower, Sun and Scorpio. I said I wanted to say Scorpio earlier. Sun and Scorpio could be Leo, Aries, Aries, Scorpio, Tower. It's like her heart is on fire. Um... I feel as if you could be meeting a past life soulmate. You're letting the past burn down, um, nostalgia, memories, um, you clinging on to people from elementary school, middle school, high school, college. That's all coming down. There also could have been infidelity, deception, divorce, a breakup was, that's going to be coming up with someone you have a lot of memories with or knew for a very long time. You're letting it burn down. The vulture. It's like rapture and just like Libra energy. Scorpio up here with the dove and um, the Scorpio energy is the um, dove and the pyramid. Someone could get kicked out. This is like a breaking down of, of the foundations that you built up your entire life. Because you're really realizing it just doesn't serve me. You're dealing with someone who has a moon in Virgo. This is moon in Virgo. 
You could also be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces, Sagittarius, and Aries, a Scorpio. We have mushrooms and, and grace and beetles, good fortune on your side. This is the owl, listening to your intuition, learning from the experiences that you've been through, you being a lot more mature now and emotionally balanced. Learning that not everything actually deserves a response. And following your intuition, you're single by choice. I think you have a lot of options. A lot of people are interested in you. And you're single because you want the Ten of Cups. You want something that is emotionally fulfilling and is, you know, going to last and go somewhere, you know. And so you're following your intuition to something that's going to be long term. That's what you're following your intuition towards. You are no longer Sagittarius Mercury moving forward by the cups, Aries Scorpio. You're not going to, um, the Eight of Wands in reverse can be like, there's no progress. Things that have no progress, things where there's no communication, people are uh, blocked um, or being blocked or uh, Five of Cups walking away. Someone's going through a breakup. It's, it's very disappointing. There's like no communication. And the Five of Cups is walking away. Someone's going to be going through a breakup. Aries, Scorpio energy. They're going to be uh, drinking their sorrows away. Receiving a will, a trust fund, and inheritance from someone passing away. Uh, there is uh, no communication because someone is very disappointed because they're walking away from... Um, a situation where someone used them for money. Their spouse, their girlfriend could have used them for, for money. Draining them financially. They're no longer investing towards Saturn, towards Capricorn and Gemini Mercury. It's a betrayal. Uh, a backstab, back, being backstabbed from a college schoolmate, sibling, friend. Um, it's overkill. It's like, well, you could have just put one knife on my back. You decided to put 10. And I can't take any more swords after that, so it's over, okay? I feel like you no longer invest. Doesn't matter how long you've known the person, okay? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's losing a lot financially. And instead of looking at all the past, looking at all this stuff, you're no longer doing that. You're not sitting in nostalgia, you're going after the, after the Ten of Cups. I also see a lot of you are dating, mingling, meeting new people. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, dating. If you're in the military, you're going to be getting an award. Capricorn Mars, Capricorn Aries, Scorpio. If this was a relationship or if this is a current relationship, there's a third party. I have three threes out here. I have the Ten of Swords. Uh, there is completion, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. You're leaving behind someone who's abusive. Okay, you are. You're leaving somebody behind who's abusive. Unfortunately. I'm really sorry to hear that you were in an abusive relationship. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Your partner or the person you're with um, is insecure. They may also um, be really mean towards you in the communication. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. It's like something is just fun, like the finality. It's like you really could have just put one sword in someone's back. Someone decided, that, okay, I'm going to put 10 swords in your back. And people think that um, this means, oh, uh, someone said something to you that was really mean. Or somebody, uh, yeah, like it, it's like people think it's an action. Sometimes no action is the action. When you decide to not respond, when you decide to not um, give true reciprocity, that's putting a sword into somebody's back. When you treat them less than human, I'm looking at these monkeys. When you treat somebody less than human, that's putting a sword in their back. When you tell them they're not valuable, that's putting a sword in their back. When you show them through action, and no action is action. You know what I mean? When someone does that, when they uh, gaslight you, they make you feel guilty because you're saying, um, you know, I've given a lot, but there's no reciprocity. So should I feel bad because, um, should I feel bad because I've, you know, given with kindness and empathy and I expected the same back as a human being and that's not what I received? Should I feel, um, 
not really deserving, but there's a sense of a, there was a lack of respect. Someone didn't respect you. Someone made you feel crazy for saying, I would like respect, common decency and reciprocity. Just kindness. The same that I give to another human being. This person didn't give that. Instead, they didn't do anything. And that put all these knives in your back. They decided to willingly do that. And so now you're looking at things like, I follow my intuition. There's no one to blame besides myself being accountable for the situations you get yourself into and saying, not everyone is going to see your worth, right? But here you are harvesting um, a new beginning for yourself moving forward and saying, Another person's actions do not determine my worth or their lack of action does not determine my worth. I am strong, I am powerful, I am beautiful, I am amazing. I am more than enough. And because of that, I'm going to walk with my head held high with self-respect, dignity, continue to give people kindness and the empathy, okay? I feel like this is a part of your path as maybe a spiritual teacher, spiritual guide. You may be uh, very spiritual or you may even do tarot. Okay, you may be a spiritual leader. You may be someone who is um, getting more in tune with talking to your spirit guides. Okay, you don't have to be in the profession, but you could be someone who is quiet and introverted perfectionist. You like things to be done correctly. So um, you're realizing Virgos have this thing where they uh, have a fear of underperforming or um, being criticized for not doing enough. This is you saying, I am more than enough. I have more to learn, right? And um, it is my mission to learn and then be able to give back through your mission. Maybe it's teaching, maybe it's creating um, Things that are very spiritual that help people through healing work, okay? Maybe it's you being able to use your voice and say, um, we all go through something. No one's really, um, you know, better than the other. We're all going through a sense of healing. It feels really healing. And it's your life mission to learn this lesson so that if you're ever approached by somebody who may be going through something similar or is going through a tough time and they ask for your advice. Remember, don't give advice if someone didn't, doesn't ask for it. This person will not give you advice unless you ask for it. This is, oh, well, I will know the answer because I have myself gone through it. Everyone's situation is different, but I may be able to give some encouraging words or give some sound advice through intuition. This is you listening to your intuition. It's not always about you relying on another person's intuition, but listening to your own, right? And that that is the most powerful guide ever because they're, they're not in your spot. They haven't lived what you've lived. The way that you have been treated does not dictate your worth. What dictates your worth is how you carry yourself, even when you may not have been respected. Walking away from people who put these knives in your back through action or lack of action. You try to make you feel crazy because you're like, um, that's not right. And yet they do it anyways. You could be very giving in any way, shape or form and you gave from your heart. And because of that, you're gonna be rewarded from the universe, okay? It's not about doing something because you expect something in return. It's about doing it because it was the right thing to do. What the person does after that, that's completely up to them. But at least you did the right thing. If you die tomorrow and you go see whoever the hell it is you believe in, you can say, that's on my, my good deed list that I did as a, as a person. I didn't want anything back. I did it because it was kind. That's what this is. I like it. I like it. Oh, you have stuff falling out. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for you. I want to clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse because I feel like you were dealing with someone who wouldn't offer you anything and that person has a new love or they're pregnant. So that person that wouldn't offer you a dime, that person has a new love. 
they may be stepping out of the commitment or relationship. But a divorce is not finalized and they're cheating. They're an absentee mother or they're absent from the relationship or commitment. I think this is going to be very much so out in the open. Give me Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Wands. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's been looking elsewhere. Nine of Pentacles. They're not single. Um, seven of Pentacles. I feel like they could have also... Ooh. For some of you, they're, they're selling their body for money. Like, um, they would date someone who will provide for them. Like, sugar baby, sugar mama type thing. This person uh, may be involved in that. Um, someone could have also had other options, like uh, prostitutes, different things like that involved in the situation. That's what's coming up. Son. Lack of... Uh, yeah, it's it's very stagnant. No communication. Four of Swords. They don't want counseling. Four of Swords in reverse. Libra, Jupiter, Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Taurus, Mercury. Big financial loss. It's very stagnant. Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. There's either no communication, no travel, no investment. Taurus, Saturn, Taurus, Capricorn. You're not happy with what you're getting back. You invested in this Queen of Pentacles. You invested in them. You're not happy with what you're getting back, though, or they're not happy. You may, um, I feel like you're just not happy with what you've invested. Nine of Pentacles. There is, I feel like someone was relying on you for money. Very stingy. They also could have been um, hustling you out of money. Or willing to sell their body to be with someone for money. Okay? Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio. You may be looking at other love options or they are. Going down a new path, making the decision because the sun is in reverse. There's no happiness here. There's no happiness. It's lack. Uh, they may not be happy in the relationship because there is a lack of money. Um, the sun is in reverse. I feel as if... Uh, they may, like, when they're talking to you, they may focus on all the negatives. And there's bad luck coming. Really bad luck. They cheated on you, bad luck. Sun is in reverse. So many setbacks, it was hard to look at anything positive anymore. That's what's coming up. Lack of travel, a uh, possible miscarriage could happen here. If someone tried to get pregnant to keep somebody for a monetary gain. Hi, Virgo. So my storage cut off, all right, after the Queen of Pentacles, but I will get right into the High Priestess. I'm going to clarify a lot of things for you. Timing-wise, though, one, two, three, four, five, three of Swords. October 3rd to October 12th, um, you'll be parting away from a Queen of Swords who may have a third party, they may have another love. That it could be a water sign, someone they just met, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. It's happening right now with the tower. I see dating. If you are the high priestess, you may even end up in a relationship within the next 28 days. You may be dating, talking to new people, and really just letting the past go, okay? Just letting, letting that all go. Give me high priestess. Page of Pentacles. Um, you're going to start off as friends with this person, Toys, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone may even give you a gift. Someone's watching you. You don't see this coming. High Priestess, High Priestess, High Priestess, please. Eight of Cups, Pisces, Capricorn, Pisces, Saturn. Someone could be getting help from you. If you're like a spiritual guy, spiritual teacher or something like that, um, they could be getting help from a light-haired female. This is the sun. Doesn't it also look like the moon? Look at this child. Um... A friend could be getting help from you to walk away from a situation, or you could be getting help from friends to walk away from a situation. High Priestess, Moon and Virgo could be a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Scorpio. You could very well be, you know, like a, a spiritual guide or a spiritual teacher or someone who's a shaman, a seer, a psychic, an oracle, or you're getting help from this person. Strength. I feel as if 
There's no talking. Someone's paranoid and reclusive. You may have also felt uh, overpowered or not even overpowered, like someone, how can I explain that? Although you may um, have spoken your truth, some of you just didn't feel heard. So you're really tuning into your own intuition. You're not offering support if someone doesn't want it. You know, you're really just um, minding your business. Someone is a very paranoid, reclusive Virgo energy. They don't want to, you know, like get any help. They could be saving, okay, a lot of money. They could be holding back a lot of information, hiding things. They're dropping burdens, responsibilities. They're going through a permanent loss, Sagittarius, Pisces. Uh, they're not open to learn. So instead, that's a, avoiding an abusive relationship where someone's not willing to learn. You don't want to put your money, time, and energy into that, right? That's a tower waiting to happen. There could also be a completion in a relationship, marriage, family. You may have children with someone. That completes, okay, the Ten of Cups. I'll look at the um, tower because that means that's happening right now as we're speaking or while you're watching this video. You know, the High Priestess represents someone who's younger than you. So there's some, the High Priestess is young, is younger than you. You may have been dealing with someone who's older than you. That's why you look like a child compared to the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? You could have been dealing with someone who's older than you. You very well could have. I saw the Empress as well. She was in reverse underneath that particular deck. Um, so I feel like you could have been dealing with someone who's older than you if you were in a relationship with someone. High Priestess is always single by choice because she wants the real thing. She wants the Ten of Cups. This person could be religious or spiritual. She's not going to offer advice if you don't want it. She's not one of those people who's trying to force information down your throat. That's why I sort of feel like with this energy, this person realizes we all have our own demons to face. It's not my business to um, give you advice you're not asking for. Uh, the hermit is a teacher, but this person doesn't want to learn. You know, They don't realize that we're not all just teachers. We're also students. If we knew everything, life would be extremely boring. Give us a tower. There's always more to learn. Tower, King of Wands. Page of Wands. You're younger. Younger fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Ephesians, Pisces. There's someone who's very far away from you. Page of Wands means someone's in a different uh, state, country, or really far away. They're giving you good news. Moon. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Moon in Virgo, maybe. Or, um... It's somebody who, there's emotion here. I feel like someone single's coming towards you. If there was a secret, that breaks down. Yeah, eight of pentacles in the world. Leaving without any closure. Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, and Virgo, Sun, Virgo, Leo. Putting hard work into yourself, walking away from things that are just confusing. If it's confusing and... um. I feel like this may have taught you to mother and parent yourself. But I think what you don't see coming is someone, is someone, the king of wands goes after what he wants. You may be significant, you're not significant, you may be older than this person coming towards you. If there was infidelity or something with a younger person, that comes out. Um, Six of Pentacles, someone, uh, Moon and Taurus could be Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Someone abused someone's generosity. They use them for money. This is a message with good intention. This is someone telling the truth. Anytime you see Page of Wands in the upright, they're telling the truth. King of Wands, you could be an entrepreneur, single. You could work with books, children, sports. You could be an athlete, a singer, a rapper, a dancer. Uh, seen in the spotlight, very popular, very well known, very innovative, and I almost heard sparky. You could be a little sparky. Um. You could work with money, okay? Uh, children. Finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. But you're dealing with someone who is very positive, okay? As far as like the dynamic, this will be positive, but someone's gonna walk away without any closure from another situation. I think they're also gonna lose money in the process. You see how all his money is falling as he's walking away. So a lot of money is lost but no longer sitting in confusion or dealing with things that don't have any clarity. Secrets coming out. Give me um, Ten of Swords. 
eight of wands. You could be blocking someone, not saying anything. Uh, the, ooh, okay, so financial instability, indecisiveness, delays, arguments leading nowhere. King of Swords, someone lied or they're highly manipulative. And the Tower and Page of Pentacles. So good financial news coming in. You could even become employed, but uh, someone could have lied about infidelity. They are unfaithful. They could be married as well. Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. Um, it's a tower because it devastates you that this person is manipulative, uh, may gaslight you, may make you feel like, you know, I mean, this person lacks social and moral conscience. They're abusive in any way, shape or form, okay? They're an absentee father. They could work in a high position of authority with children, military, um, uh, technology, the law. They could be a lawyer. They could work in school. They could be a teacher, a counselor, a psychologist. This person knows how to manipulate people's minds. And the, the things that they maybe used to do in the past that worked where they could manipulate you in a situation, that's over. Only because you're no longer triggered by it. Instead, you call it out for what it is and you let it blow up. You let this person, you say, you know, God bless, let them go, okay? You don't want any part of it. Sagittarius Mercury, no longer acting like you're blind to a situation where um, it's like letting it go. No longer holding on to it, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Leo. Letting the information go, letting the past go with this person, just moving forward to the new. Two of Swords, because it's just, it's indecisive. Moon and Libra could be Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. There's no, there's no uh, compromise with someone like this, okay? You may even receive a message. Page of Pentacles can mean a message, boring talk. Someone could owe you child support, or you could receive a gift from this person, or someone may try to make it seem like they can come back in, like everything's fine. Like they didn't put 10 swords in your back by being manipulative and not saying anything, ghosting, whatever. Virgo energy, ghosting, trying to come back into the cold, like nothing happened. Like, no, something happened. You were manipulative and I don't want any part of it. You can't come back in like everything's fine because it's not fine. I'm not tolerating it. I'm just not, it's not leading anywhere. You're cheating on someone. I don't want any part. You keep things away from your partner. You say, oh, I just won't tell her. Like that solves everything. Like it's crazy. You don't want any part to do with things like that. They're like, you can do that, just not with me, okay? And I don't judge you for what you decide to do, but I sure as hell can make sure I don't end up in a situation where I'm involving myself in it, okay? This person has dual loyalty to two people and they refuse to make a decision. It's not your place to tell this person, oh, it's toxic, you need to get out. No, what's in your place and in your control is moving on away from this person. That's what you're doing. You're not supporting this. That's why strength is in reverse. You're not supporting it. You're not trying to overpower. You're not trying to whatever. They could be talking bad about you. King of Swords in reverse. They could be talking bad about you, okay? To other people, to the person they're with, to whoever even though they used you for money or betrayed you or hurt you. So what you're doing is like, I'm just gonna take the high road and move on, okay? Um, you could go low, but instead you're just gonna go high, okay? Stay high vibe, don't let, you know, this uh, affect who you are because that's what people like narcissists, this is a narcissist, this is what people like that want. They could have mental illness as well and they're ignoring their intuition. So it doesn't matter how many times you try to help or whatever, this person 11, 11 on the dot, they're not using their intuition. There's no point in trying to help. Divine masculine energy, the masculine lunar god 42, breaking down into a six. Uh, this is happening right now with the tower. Six, another six, six, six. This is about love and beauty and pleasure and helpfulness and family. Patience, the number nine. I also feel like this is about being kind, encouraging and supporting others, being idealistic, but supporting yourself. You um, have taken action upon yourself to move forward. There is someone that's gonna be coming towards you. Fruition, you manifested this. There's gonna be communication coming from Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. 
I do feel like Ten of Swords, someone gets blocked. They get blocked or something like that. They're they're highly manipulative and you just see, I don't want that in my life. That's my decision. Just like it's your decision to be the way you are. That flew out for you. I don't know if you saw that. Did you see that? Okay. The Hierophant. Oh my gosh. A time to observe traditions and social life. Respect authority to overcome problems. This isn't the time to let off steam when around figures of authority. Just be patient and tolerant and you will make it to the other side of scave. Your affirmation is I'm... I don't know how much of that you caught, but I told you guys, I bought, like, I bought a lot of storage, like, weeks ago, and it's still... Sometimes it'll cut off because it's like, oh, you need more space. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I am calm and tranquil. I am peaceful and patient. So this is all about breath work. It's about breathing, okay? So let's see what else you get. Goodness gracious. All right, everything you experienced in your life up to this point has great value to yourself, to other beings, and to creation itself. It's really about focusing on yourself. I see a lot about self-care, okay? Focusing on you. That's, all, that's the only thing you can't control. Storage has cut off at least this video 15 times, Virgo. We have action, waxing give is six. I swear, you buy 200 gigabytes and you still have freaking problems. It's crazy. Nine, green corn moon patience. Uh, the high priestess, you only give advice if asked for. Other than that, you're really staying to yourself. 11, Libra energy. This is about being a visionary, high vibrational, which is really just about being authentic, highly intuitive, and being an inspirational artist. Not all the time will you be super positive and happy, da, 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 but it's about uh, not allowing the world around you to affect what you want to create in this world, right? And who you are at heart. So I like that about you. You know, you're probably quiet, introverted, paying attention to what you got to get done on your life mission and path. Your number is odd, a double one today. All proposition shun. If you're married, have a care. Your male may provide, your mate may provide untrue. If you're single, you're deceived. The fates are warning you. You will lose a friend. Your wish is not a wise one. So you're gonna be losing a friend, but I don't think it was a I don't think it was an actual real friend, okay, or a real connection. This person was probably not who you thought they were. And the lesson learned is to move on, learn from it. And um, I see you heading towards the Ten of Cups for yourself. Your wish fulfillment, your happiness, and that's the right way to go. All right. So that's what I got for you, Virgo. You cut off on me 15, 16 times. So hopefully you like the message. A uh, harvest moon, things coming into fruition for you. Uh, you manifesting your own abundance. You have no control over another person. You don't want control over other people. Um, don't allow the fact that maybe you've been giving and other people are just, you know, they use that and stuff like that. Don't allow that those types of people into your space, your energy. Protect yourself and um, keep moving forward. You're solo, you probably spend time alone, but I see you're gonna be dating. If you're not already, I think you're already doing this though, mingling, socially, socializing, dating, meeting new people. Um, you know your work, don't lower your standards. You're not lonely or anything, I don't see that because the high priestess is actually more comfortable when alone, but I do feel as if you are using your intuition to guide you towards new love. Someone who um, respects what you do for your work, for your livelihood, for your mission. And um, it will be a spiritual and emotional connection. You're gonna start off as, as friends with this new person. So congratulations. You're also gonna be receiving a gift most likely or something like that, a good financial news for you. Um, that's what I got for you. I don't see you dealing with things that are confusing. You've grown a lot. So congratulations. All right, so I restarted my storage. This is for Virgo. Allow me to be the messenger. For Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? Holy Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Work relationship, you could be meeting someone at work. You could be collaborating with someone at work and it leads into a relationship your relationship at work someone's a single parent okay you could be a single parent virgo or the person you're gonna be meeting could be a single parent married someone's married here if someone is married 
Leave them alone. That's it. Just leave them alone. Okay. What do you got? Insecure. Okay. So um, if you're married to this person or you're in a relationship with this person, they're very insecure. Irresponsible. Controlling. Self-absorbed. Educated. Cultural differences. Non-committal. Good God. Responsible. The responsible thing to do is avoid somebody who is married or in a relationship. Stay out of it. That's the responsible thing to do. Okay? Stay away from them. That's uh, very controlling. All right? They could be in a controlling relationship. You could be in a controlling relationship. You could be married with someone who's very controlling and self-absorbed. Cultural differences. I think that uh, you could come from different backgrounds as well. Someone has integrity. They're self-employed. Okay. Educated and sincere. A good communicator. And someone also has dark hair and eyes. And it's not who you think. Someone's very non-committal, okay? If you came here thinking, oh, this person is in a relationship, married, they're going to leave the person. No, they're not. They're staying with someone who's, who's not, you know, um, of high vibration. They are staying with someone where it's a caretaker dynamic. And um, that's none of your business, okay? Empress in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that with the whole married thing this person can't commit because they're already in something they're in a relationship or they're married or whatever they're non-committal stay out of it it's none of your business what another person does in their relationship okay if that you know works for uh who is in that relationship then that's what works for them say god bless keep it pushing focus on yourself okay all right. You could also be saying, oh, I want to get married, but this person's non-committal. So if someone's been egging you on saying, oh, we're going to get married one day, let it know they're non-committal. Okay? Or they're non-committal because they're already married. So leave them alone. They're in a relationship or something like that. Leave them alone. Don't entertain it. Yeah, for very long. Go for it. Keep moving forward. Go for it. Keep moving forward in your life. You could be meeting someone brand new that's sincere, has integrity, is educated, self-employed, maybe comes from a different culture, is someone brand new. Time to talk. You'll be talking to this person. If you're in a relationship or marriage, you may be uh, talking to one another in the commitment or relationship. Listen to advice from others. Okay. Work through differences. Your person is having sense. Gaining clarity and wisdom. Okay. Compliment each other. Committed elsewhere. Blending family. Someone is committed elsewhere. Leave them alone. Don't even look in the direction. Okay? They are committed elsewhere. In a relationship, marriage, whatever. Working through differences. Person they're with may want to work through differences. The person you're with may want to work through differences. All right, your person is heaven sent. The new person that comes in your life is gonna feel like they're heaven sent. When you least expect it, stick it out, things will improve. If right now you're single, just stick it out, keep focusing on yourself, things will improve, okay? Um, keep putting yourself out there and just really enjoying the now. Something will happen by your next birthday. That's what I've got for you. And if messages resonate, by all means, um, night owl. Someone's a night owl as well. If this is a commitment or relationship um, or just in general, someone may overspend. So don't overspend. Be more responsible, especially financially. That is what I've got for you. Hopefully messages resonate, Virgo. Love you.